We've made it through an entire week of Married at First Sight. Now, let's dive into week two with episode number five. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. The experts match the next couple, Olivia and Jackson. Olivia is a 28-year-old teaching student who was the primary caretaker for her dad for seven years before he sadly passed on last year. My dad called me to say that he had a little touch of cancer. So I flew straight home and his health deteriorated and ended up with me being his primary carer for seven years. Shout out to Olivia and those like her. Jackson is a 30 year old plumber. He talks about his experience of shielding his sisters from arguments between his mom and her partners. Also mom, why are you bringing too many different partners? So I would always go and put them in their rooms or something like that and put the music on so they never had to hear it. He took on a monumental task. Props to you, Jackson. Hopefully, this couple's past trauma will bring them closer. The experts have found a match for Al who describes himself as a kid from Bondi that everyone loves. Al says he wants someone who's independent and capable. Al's new wife is Samantha from The Goldie. She's a retail manager. Tamara, run. Sam once read her now ex-boyfriend's diary and it said he was going to propose to her. He cheated on her instead and now she thinks men are trash. Well, not all men, just him and dudes like him. I remember reading his diary and, and it was like, 2019 goals proposed to Sam. Rome? Question mark. Didn't happen, FYI. Olivia and Jackson finally meet and they're quickly planning their futures together by making love with their eyes. Back to Al's big day. He begs his mother to rate him in his wedding attire. 10. Score. You look good, okay? Out of 10. Uh, Al, I'm not going to give you a rating. On his way to the ceremony, Al admits he is worried about the lack of children photos he's offering on his Facebook feed and is ready to find someone to have kids. I've got to start now. I feel like a gladiator right now. Just walking into the Coliseum. About to go into battle. Come at the hour, come at the man. Sam looks drop dead gorgeous. I agree, but I don't agree with his description. Yeah, wow. Doozy. Absolute doozy. Sorry, miss me. Just want it to start. Al then uses Eminem's Lose Yourself lyrics as an intro to his vowels. My knees are weak, my arms are heavy. They are not, you are I not. can't wait to try my new wife's spaghetti. <laughs> You actually didn't write that. I hope that broke the ice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back to Olivia and Jackson's wedding. Olivia's mom questions Jackson about his male dog and finishing an apprenticeship in his 30s. Also, also, Olivia and Jackson's mom's names are Mandy and Sandy. A speech for you, Liv. So I haven't, I have no idea what this is. This is going to be interesting. To Jackson's new bride. Live. Firstly, welcome to our family. Over at Al and Sam's wedding, Sam's concerned that Al looks at himself a lot. Things get worse as Al does clap push ups during their photo shoot. Seriously? Sam then refuses to kiss him. Have a little bridal kiss for me? No, we're not doing a kiss. Then Al's mom cock blocks Al with her wedding speech, listing all the things that he's not capable of doing. May I say a few words to the newlyweds? For the not so fun side, <laughs> he can't cook, nor do laundry, and not very good at cleaning. Al makes things worse by doing the worm on the dance floor. 
flipping the script, Jackson and Olivia wake up from their wedding night cuddling and kissing and she confirms they were intimate. Al and Sam didn't consummate their wedding but they did bond over crystallized margaritas. Jackson and Olivia are now on their rustic retreat honeymoon where he offers to fix her insecurities with his toolkit. Um, by toolkit, does he mean his anaconda or something different? And by anaconda, dear Australian folks, I mean his schlong. I don't think we'll ever be fixed. Right. But, um, I'll bring the toolkit. We'll fix it up. <laughs> <laughs> On Al and Sam's honeymoon, they stare at each other long enough for Al to shoot his shot, but gets rejected. They continue to be awkward until the episode finishes. What did you think about this episode? Are you here for Sam and Al? Do you think this couple will last? And what about Olivia and Jackson? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.